Hello everybody, um, I hope you can hear me because I'm using a new recording software um, that I literally just um, pulled together and stuff. So uh, you might be wondering why I'm about a week late. Well, it's been about two weeks since I posted a, a video and um, you may not know but there's been a hurricane near me and it knocked out my power for about three and a half days. So I, I, I decided that I would, um, I'd, I would use the same video I posted the next week, which is this week, and continue with the schedule from, from there. So I'm going to get started. This is the Coin News, second edition. And, uh, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So first is the World Coins article. So th this um this this month is going to be the Soviet ruble coin, and it was the currency of Russia until about 1993, until which is when the Soviet Union collapsed. I'm pretty sure, and uh, it's a large coin, but it's not very common. So, and it's only worth about point zero one two five five of a U.S. dollar. So, it's not worth very much, but, um, yeah, and, uh, I actually have one of these, it's a one ruble coin, and, um, it has that background right here, and this, well, that's the reverse, and this is the obverse, uh, yeah, and, uh, it's sometimes confused with the Russian ruble, which is almost the same design, and uh, one ruble is worth 100 kopecks. So for the Russians, a ruble was like a dollar, and kopecks were like cents. So, yeah. Um, the Soviet ruble was based off of the Russian ruble. They're even called the same things, and the designs are really similar, as uh, as in the this one right here. And uh, Russian ruble rubles are still made for Russians. But the Soviet rubles are not because Soviet Union doesn't doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, on to our paper money article. Um, this week, I mean this month, I decided to do the common U.S. one dollar bill. Um, it's one of the most used type of paper money in existence, and it's been made since about 1792. So that's almost as long as the U.S. has been in, in existence. And uh, there are 11.4 11 billion $1 bills in circulation as of about 2015. So that's a, that's a lot of dollar bills. They're, they're really common. And um, it hasn't been changed in over 50 years. And so that's pretty impressive. Um, the last change that was made to the dollar was, um, was the words, God we, in God we trust. Um, because it was only added on until about 1963, I think. So, yeah. And uh, they're not actually made of paper. They're made of, um, yeah. no, no, sorry. Um, they're made of a certain thing. It's, um, you know, moving on. And uh, they're one of the most known objects in the U.S., and the Federal Reserve spends about 5.5 .5 cents for every dollar. So for every dollar they make, they pay 5.5 .5 cents. So they make a profit, I guess. <laughs> so on to the main main article. It's um, about large, domination, large denominations of U.S. paper money. So... Uh, Large denominations of U.S. currency greater than $100 were circulated by the U.S. Treasury until about 1969. So, not too long ago did they, um, did they stop using them. And uh, since then, U.S. dollars have only been issued in seven denominations. $1, $2, $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100. Um, the larger denominations were... Um, or $500 bills, $1,000 bills, 
$10,000 bills and even a few $100,000 bills. And uh, here I have some $1,000 some bills and some $500 bills. And uh, so they were last printed in 1945 but were officially discontinued in 1969. So they, they weren't, yeah. <laughs> $1,000 and uh, $500 bills were not common, like even though they were made. And uh, they're still worth their denomination at a bank or mint facility because, um, because of their, uh, because of their denomination. And uh, the seven denominations are hopefully here to stay, which are these. One, two, five, ten, twenty, fifty, and one hundred dollar bills. So on to the next one, which is our um, our hobby study thing. So first is st stamp collecting. Um, stamp collecting is the stud collecting of s or studying of postage stamps, and it's also known known as philately. I think I pronounced it right. And uh, it first appeared in Ireland in seventeen seventy four. When a man named John Bork assembled a, a book of numerous stamps from that time, and uh, he was actually one of the um, one of the leading officials of stamp making back then, so he he had some he had some pretty good access to all the stamps that he wanted, and um, by about 1860, thousands of collectors and stamp dealers were appearing around the world to enjoy and study the new hobby. Um, didn't type that right right there but just forget about it um and it's it's actually one of the world's most popular hobbies to date so and also here are two pictures of some stamp collectors um moving on to the meme so the meme for today is well eagles on u.s coins they're basically everywhere <laughs> So thanks for watching. Um, I feel like this was a shorter video video than usual. Um, I'm not sure because I don't I can't see a timer. Um, if you liked if you liked the video or have any questions, then uh, comment down below and maybe even subscribe. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.